Okay, today I'm going to put this uh, third function oil line and hose kit. Uh, the part number was BW16138. And this is for a John Deere 3046R. And we're going to put these, uh, I'll just talk about all this in a second, but all of this conglomeration hoses and whatnot will be going on the, the side so the five hydraulics will be for the front for I can use a grapple that's the whole purpose of this and it, all the hoses and everything are going to be routed underneath here and they somehow they're going to be underneath the seat and then they come back and they're going to hook on to my third function valve which is right there and that also uh, runs up my uh, on my snowblower, the chute on the snowblower, the hydraulics hook up to that. And it's all going to be controlled by this uh, thumb screw. So it will open and close the grapple or it turns the chute of the John Deere snowblower. So you can see how that has hydraulics on the John Deere snowblower. That's on, that works off that thumb screw. So this is all the parts that come with this. You get a bag of hoses. You can see it's got an angle here. That angle is for going in, coming out of the back of the, underneath the seat, and that angle will plug into the, right directly into those hoses with the proper adapter, of course. A couple of steel hoses that come with this, a bracket, some uh, other little brackets for holding the steel lines onto the side of the loader. Quick disconnects, snap ring stuff, and all that. And then today also I am going to be putting on some 3-inch wheel extensions. So I have to pull the tires off, which I think I need to pull the tire off anyways to run this uh, the hoses easily. And these are 3-inch wheel extensions. That's just going to make, should give my... Uh, 3046R a little better stability. So I'm going to see what happens. Stay tuned. Okay, this is the. I, I put this on. I just. Uh, too hard to show every little step, but you can see this is the front hydraulics. You got a male and a female plug in for the. Uh, for the hoses that would go off a grapple, so to speak, or a, or a front end or a um, the cylinder off of a snowblower. So uh, I added this bracket that's right here. That came with the kit. Ran it all through there. I had to tweak the this tubing a little bit. It was uh, so it wasn't rubbing on anything at all. I may have a little bit of an issue here that I got to remedy this uh, my angle finder here of my tractor bucket I'll have to do something so it doesn't hit this fitting other than that uh, so it's a solid tubing up here there was a couple little brackets right here and uh, then they coupled onto some hoses that go down through the sock here so you got to take off the sock not remove it but take off the tie wraps and everything that holds it and then you can slide I slid one hose at a time down through the sock the sock right here and it, I even had to I even when I cut the bands here I even pulled this back so then I could kind of fish it through there a little bit of work but it wasn't so bad then I just reattached all of the um, tie wraps here so this is sitting good the hose it just doubles back like this and gets into the bracket that we added and that bracket just bolted on two cap screws that I removed and added the bracket and then, uh, so that took it from the loader. So if I ever took the loader off, we could disconnect all the hoses. Then we take it from this point here, if that can be seen here. There's another, uh, it's a hard, uh, it actually it bolts onto those quick disconnects. And that runs under the tractor. And I, I see I have to, we got to be careful about the rub because we don't want this to rub and, and cause a leak as time goes on. I still have to... I gotta finish up just tying it, tying it up with some tie wrap so it runs underneath the tractor, 
Um, I just had to pick a route. I got above the electrical cable, so I, this was hanging low. I did get this. This is a. Uh, the, uh, this is all they had. It's a Gates. Uh, I got this Advanced Auto Parts. It's called. It's Gates is a manufacturer. It's like a, a fabric, and I put the hose inside there for uh, help it uh, on any rubbing or anything. So it would stop that rubbing on that rubber hose, and that was fairly inexpensive. I bought all they had. I wish it was longer, but it, uh, that's the way it was. So. At any rate, I fished it underneath here. It was good that, that I put these extensions on because it, it was a lot easier with the uh, tire being off to fish it in here. So you can see, I just uh, it's above everything. It's away from the tire, and that's the end of it. I wish I would have had it a little bit longer, but that's all I had. So, and it comes up into the back here, and I'm just going to finish my last little fittings, and they're going to go into my third function valve right here. I routed them over the top of this bracket just to help keep it out of the way and that should work just fine um, now with this kit one size fits all so really the on some older tractors the the um, third function valve was way over here so these hoses really were too long for this 3046 r in the kit and so i ended up having to cut them and uh, that's that's what was left over that's how long they were, uh, too long. So I just went to Advanced Auto Parts. They put new ends on there for me and uh, shortened them up. I think that cost me 30 bucks with that, uh, with that fabric, with this fabric right here. And it, uh, it worked out very well. So I should be connecting them up and now I gotta buy a grapple. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. So the grapple hooked up to the tractor. And hook the hydraulics up. We have the two hoses with a <clears throat> with a male. And the female end, and this was our our uh, front hydraulics that we ran. My two connections come off, and I'll hook the hoses up. You see, I got the hoses hooked up. You always want to make sure that they that these uh, these clamps have clicked. You know, to make sure these are on there. And whenever you're taking hydraulics apart. You have to make sure if there's a, if there's pressure and you and you can't get something apart. There could be pressure in there, and you need to relieve that pressure. You bet, usually by turning the machine off and then actuating the hydraulic levers when there's nothing running. That usually will take the pressure off. Then you can disconnect the hoses.